Great. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, my name is Richard Chang, head of school at the Josiah Quincy Upper School, and my fellow uh, head of school, Steve Saracillo, who's also my bodyguard, by the way. He's <laughs> my lawyer. Um, welcome, everyone. It's this, this was supposed to be a small event, and it's a big project, so you can't have just uh, a few people. And um, to say that this has been a long and painful process would be an understatement. So I just want to read you just a few statistics. This project has seen four mayors, five city council presidents, seven BPS superintendents, two state treasurers, I think only one MSBA chair, and three principals. Actually, one of the principals is uh, our, our founding principal, Dr. Bak Wan Fong, is here. So he's. Uh, the, uh, the father of this project in many ways. So there are just way too many people to acknowledge. And in a moment, actually, I'm going to introduce our student MCs. And we'll have a chance to acknowledge most of, many of our uh, public officials. But there are really many unsung heroes, in, starting with the workers here, the iron workers and all the different <laughs> union members. I'm just so grateful when I walk down and just see everyone at work. I'm just like so proud and thank you for like taking care of our baby. So really appreciate that. Um, so at, at this point, just uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce uh, uh, Kevin Tan and Emily Rivera. They're the leaders of our Student Body Association. Our student leaders uh, serve in so many different parts of our school. They also sit on the uh, school site council as well as the personnel committee. So they actually take part in the interviewing and the hiring of our teachers. So all right, come on up, Kevin and Emily. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Chang, for the wonderful speech. I am, oh, <laughs> um, I am excited to introduce. Um, I am pleased to welcome our wonderful city of Boston mayor, Mayor Michelle Wu. Please join me in welcoming her to the podium. Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias. Thank you so much to all of our. Uh, many, many team members over many, many administrations for getting us to this exciting day. Um, really grateful to Emily and Kevin for helping shepherd us through the, this special event. And um, proud to be joining colleagues from the city and the state. Of course, our head of schools and the, the co-leadership team, thank you so much for all that you do day in and day out for this school community. Uh, our city council president, Ed Flynn, who's, a, who's been fighting for uh, this project for a very long time and helping to shepherd it through. Of course, you'll hear from very soon our superintendent. Uh, I'm oh, Anyway, I won't, I won't make comparisons, but I couldn't be more thrilled that we have this incredible leader here today for this celebration and, and many more. Uh, Jim, thank you for your leadership, and we've had the chance to have many celebrations like this and more to come, so thank you so much the MSBA and, and to the Treasurer's Office for their partnership. And I also want to recognize and thank uh, a very important leader in Boston, also a member of our Boston School Committee, uh, Ms. Ravela Polanco Garcia. Thank you so much for, for your leadership on behalf of all of our students in BPS. Most of all, uh, thank you to the teams who have put together every bit of the dreams and visions and hopes of our school community and translated that into steel and labor hours and making sure that we are doing that safely, not just for all of the young people and the futures that are, will be coming inside this building, but for our workers on site. Um, thank you so much to the construction teams, to the trades, to the architects and, and planners and everyone who's been involved. We are so grateful for your work. Um, this project has been a few years in the making, as you've already heard, and we're so excited to lift the last two beams today. I also want to thank the Boston Chinese Evangelical Church for agreeing to participate in the, the land swap and that process that made this site, which is so suited and, and finally has enough room for our whole school communities to get going. So uh, um, I also want to thank the neighborhood organizations, community leaders, and residents who invested so much time and energy for showing up and lending your voices to this project and collaborating with us in the design of this building. 
Your activism and advocacy has helped us secure funding and space over many years. Um, I see folks who have been part of this process for a very long time. That baton going from a former chief of operations, Chief Brophy, now here in a different capacity, to our current chief of operations, Dion Irish, uh, led by our pu <laughs> public facilities team with Carrie Griffin at, at the helm. This will be one of the greenest buildings in Boston. And we are so proud that that will be a showcase for the future that we are laying with every single young person who has a chance to, to get this amazing education with the Josiah Quincy Upper School. The building will be equipped with heat pumps to reduce emissions, and, power, and these pumps will power everything from the indoor temperature control to cooking in the full service kitchen. We are planning for LEED Gold certification, advanced filtration and displacement systems to protect air quality throughout the building, and a big outdoor rooftop space where, weather permitting, uh, teachers can hold classes, students can come study or work on group projects and take stock of what is theirs, the city all around them and all of the opportunities all across Boston. We're also proud that they'll get to enjoy science classrooms with modern lab facilities, a beautiful new gym to encourage everyone to stay active, and accessibility across the, the board to ensure that every single space is available for every single student. Um, I see City Council Ruti Lujen in the audience too. Come on up, Ruti. <laughs> Thank you for your partnership on this. And while this building was designed with learning, student learning at its center, it is also a community space. The first two floors, including the auditorium, black box theater, dining hall, gym, and media center will be available to community groups and organizations to host events for the entire neighborhood. Because we know that schools are much more than about the learning that happens right within those daytime hours. They are really the hubs and engines for our entire community. They're where every generation gets connected, our children and grandchildren, nieces and nephews, friends and neighbors, learn to become leaders, and we want to engage the entire community in that necessary effort. That learning is enhanced and enriched when it takes place in a thriving, supportive, nurturing, multi-generational community space. Earlier this year, we announced the Green New Deal for Boston Public Schools, a bold initiative to overhaul our school facilities across the entire district and bring them into the 21st century and to the level that our students and educators deserve. Tomorrow's leaders deserve safe, beautiful, modern environments that are the baseline for high quality learning today. And the climate and community features in this building set a new standard for what we can and should expect from our schools here in Boston, every single one of them. It's a standard that we will continue to hold ourselves to and that the Green New Deal for Boston will carry forward. And so I want to thank all of our departments across the city, at the state level, and all of our partners who have come together to make our collective vision for JQUS a reality. It took everyone here and many folks who couldn't be here today to get to this point. And I can't wait to see the incredible art and innovation that you all create in this space in the years to come. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor. Now I'll have the pleasure of introducing Carrie Griffin, the, pu the Director of Public Facilities, to share a couple of words. Please give a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you and good morning. Uh, let's hear a big shout out for Local 7, uh, Super Mattel, the steel manufacturer, and Stearns, the erector, and the whole construction crew. <coughs> 2,500 tons of steel, 3,300 pieces of steel right here. So the last steel beam raised is a huge milestone for the project and honors the accomplishments of the construction crew. It represents, the tree represents life for the continued safety of the project and for the future occupants of the building. <clears throat> I'm excited to welcome you all here today for the Josiah Quincy Chopping Off Ceremony. It's been a very long process to get us here, one which started over 10 years ago. First and foremost, I would like to thank Mayor Wu for her constant support of this project. <clears throat> we would not be here today if not for the pa partnership with Treasurer Deb Goldberg and the Massachusetts School Building Authority. You have been with us on this journey since 2009. <clears throat> 
and we know you are looking forward to seeing the building come to fruition as much as we are. Thank you, Council President Flynn, for your unwavering advocacy for the Chinatown community. And thank you to my tremendous PFD team. <clears throat> Senior Project Manager Roman Nelty, Assistant Director Carlton Jones, Clerk of the Works Stan Cito and Bob Dillon, Assistant Director Evan Brinkman, and Project Manager Maureen Anderson <clears throat> for your dedication to this school. Thank you to Pip Lewis and the HMF architectural team. Thank you to our Skanska OPM, Jim Dowd, Susan Gleason, Neri, and Steve. Thank you to our um, general contractor, uh, construction manager, Maureen Kirkpatrick from Turner, Jamie Messer, Jack Dawson, and Mike Perello. <clears throat> Thank you for the project team who work here day in and day out. You have turned an idea into a reality. And a very special <clears throat> thank you to the Chinese Evangelical Church. Today's chopping off ceremony marks a major milestone in the project's life cycle. As we raise the beam today, we look back in gratitude to everyone who has worked for the last 10 years to bring this project to life, and we look forward to the promise of inspiring young minds in the years to come. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kyrie. Um, next, we will hear from Council President Ed Flynn President Eflin serves or represents Chinatown, South Boston, South End, and Beacon Hill. Please give a round of applause for him. Thank you. I'm honored to be here and to be here with my colleagues in government, Mayor Wu and, and with City Council of Ruzi Louis Zhen. Um, this project has been going on for 10 years, so under the leadership of, of Mayor Menino, and Mayor Walsh, and Mayor Janey, and Mayor Wu. We want to say thank you to those mayors for their strong leadership getting this to the finish line. I also want to highlight the incredible role of city employees that never gave up on this project, but also the residents of Chinatown that fought and advocated for so many years to build a beautiful school and to build eventually a library in this community. I um, want to say thank you to the tremendous building trades that are building this wonderful building that's going to be inclusive for all residents, especially our immigrant neighbors that live in and around Chinatown in the South End. I um, want to say thank you to the school department, all city workers, our building community, building trades community, and especially the, the residents of Boston for never giving up um, hope on building a brand new school for the residents of this community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Council President Flynn. It will now be my pleasure to introduce Superintendent Mary Skipper. She is our education chief. Please join me in welcoming her to the podium. Good morning, everyone. So first, I'd, I'd just like to thank Richard for welcoming us here, uh, Steve, uh, who is also a, a co-principal, uh, to Emily and to Kevin, our outstanding student EMCs. Uh, you know, in Bak Fung Wong, I'd be remiss, um, but you know, really, this is a lot of his vision as well um, in bringing this to fruition. You know, today my, my heart is just really full um, as we see something that's going to mean so much to our community and to our schools uh, as a district. And I'd like to, there's so many people to mention to thank you, but you know, certainly on the public facility side, the entire team, um, especially Chief Irish and Kerry for their support, as well as in BPS, uh, Deputy Superintendent Depina and Chief Deputy Webster, uh, I, I saw Kayla here, uh, as well as Indy Alvarez and Carolyn Meadows. Just thank you because so much time gets put into these projects to bring them to fruition. Of course, none of this could happen without our strong partnership with MSBA. So a big shout out to Jim and to Jack, as well as to, uh, to our treasurer, uh, Deb Goldberg. Um, thank you all for just making this possible. It's really a privilege to be here this morning. Um, we are so lucky to have a mayor who has a vision in the Green New Deal 
for bringing to our students for equity in education the reality of having buildings that really are sustainable, support an academic program that we dream about for our children, um, that are high efficiency buildings, and really centers for the community. I mean, when I think of this building, I can see a day when this building will be filled with children who are learning, parents who are engaging, uh, members of the community in different activities throughout its floors, um, not just the steel beams that we see today. And that certainly will be the hard work of uh, many of the people I mentioned, as well as we just don't give enough thanks to our workers, to all of these men and women who are here helping today. So thank you very much. Um, you know, I, I really, I look forward uh, to um, celebrating this type of moment many, many times in the history of the city and in BPS because we have a mayor who's willing to make that happen. We have electeds who are willing to make that happen. We have a school committee that's willing to make that happen. Um, and so I'll just close to say that hopefully when we, we do some additions of these signings of the beams and ribbon cuttings, we can one day say it's under one mayor and one superintendent. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Skipper. It will be now my honor to introduce Rafaela Polanco Garcia, the Boston School Committee ma member. Please give a round of applause. Thank you so much. Um, my, mi español es mejor que mi inglés. Okay. Uh, cuando mi niño empezó en el, el año pasado, en el año académico pasado, when my son started last academic year. Fue una transición porque él venía de la escuela Blaston. It was a transition because he was coming from the Blackstone School. Y cuando fui a la, a la orientación, que tuve la oportunidad de conocer al director, me dijo cuántos estudiantes de esta escuela siempre llegan a estar en la universidad. When I came to the orientation of the school, the director spoke to me and he said that a lot of the graduates that attend this school end up going to college. Soy una orgullosa mamá de esta escuela, Josaya Quincy. Estoy muy orgullosa de que mi hijo va a tener, va a poder disfrutar de este maravilloso building. I'm a very proud mother of a student of the Josiah Quincy, and I can't wait for my son to be one of the students in this new building. Este año, thank you. Este año, el primer año fue un poquito difícil para mi niño, pero este año me dice, mami, estoy tan feliz porque voy a tener una escuela del nuevo siglo. <laughs> The first year was a little bit challenging for my son, but after that, he told me that he's very excited because he is going to be part of the new school and he's going to have a brand new Green New Deal school. Gracias a todos los que han trabajado muy duro para que esto sea realidad. Thank you to everyone for making this possible for my son. Yo pienso que todos nuestros niños deberían tener acceso a building como esto que deberían tener todos, todos. Ese es el gran sueño que todos debemos tener para nuestros hijos. I think that all children of Boston, of Boston deserve a building like this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you, Boston School Committee member Rafaela for her speech. And, and now, it is my honor to introduce our last speaker of of the day, Mr. James Mc, Jim Mc, Mr. Jim McDonald, first deputy treasurer and chief executive officer of the Massachusetts School Building Authority. After that, we will raise the school beam. So thank you. Uh, on behalf of State Treasurer Goldberg, Jack McCarthy, and Maria Popolo, who is with me here today, congratulations on, on achieving this milestone. You know, milestones of, of raising the beam, you know, Kerry gave a little brief history, but it's really a celebration. It's a celebration of uh, not only the Iron Workers Local 7, but all the trades and all the women and men that are gonna work on this building, complete it, and you know, make it a showcase, not only for the city of Boston, 
uh, but also for the state, and serve the community. And that's what it's all about. It's about serving your community, your students, and having a place that that really they can come to and, and learn and share experiences, uh, and also to, to then go on. But you know, the city of Boston has really, uh, really stepped up, and Mayor Wu, uh, uh, Council President Flynn, and, and Superintendent Skipper, and all the team, uh, and also the past teams, uh, have really worked hard to, to achieve this. And you know, this is a difficult site. When you walk around and you look at what is being done in, in the city, in a postage stamp type of property, it, it's really amazing. But that's because people have a vision, people have hired the talent uh, in, order to, in order to make it happen. And you know, we usually end with a, a, a story that uh, Dan Valentine from the Salt Lake City Tribune, he once wrote that a school is four walls with tomorrow inside. And I can tell you, Mayor, Superintendent, Council President, and others, we at the MSBA are so proud of being a part of the City of Boston's tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McDonald. It will be now my pleasure to invite Mr. Chang and the students to please come to the podium. Now, here's the moment you've all been waiting for. I guess this is like the New Year's uh, ball drop, except we're going to have the, the, the raising. So, I don't know. Do we count down? Okay, so 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Up and away. Thank <laughs> you. 